Hi everybody, I'm Dennis R. Curie. Come on in. Time to talk about the big topic. Big both regionally and nationally. And that topic is the Kardashians. No, oh, just seeing if you're awake. The big topic I want to talk about, and I'm no expert here, is solar energy. Normally when it comes to big controversial projects, you have your developer types on the one hand and your environmentalist types on the other. When it comes to the subject of solar energy though, you have two types of environmentalists. You have the environmentalists here in the desert and you have your environmentalists in Massachusetts. An environmentalist in Massachusetts views solar electricity as a clean, non-polluting, essentially free source of homeland produced energy. An environmentalist in the American Southwest, however, is likely to think of it entirely differently. An environmentalist here in the desert is likely to ask, what kind of solar energy are you talking about? Are you talking about the quiet, non-polluting, locally used energy that is best exemplified by panels on a rooftop? Or are you talking about a huge energy farm replacing potentially thousands of acres of pristine landscape with mirrors and pipes, wiping out not only the view, but in all likelihood, the native flora and fauna? I saw, and maybe you did too, I saw this coming a long time ago, the day when the energy industry, the industry which gives us all that good stuff, but also gives us the Gulf oil spill and something called clean coal, got into solar energy in a big way. Well, where were they going to produce all this solar energy? Right here in the desert, of course which is just fine with our hypothetical Massachusetts environmentalist who would scream bloody murder if you started chopping down some New England forest to install one of those things. We have an expression in this country that freedom isn't free. Hopefully, we're going to learn that energy isn't free either. Consider this. Which place is better for solar energy development? Sunny California or Cloudy Germany. Duh. Well, Germany produces more solar energy than California. How can this be? Well, it's because factors besides abundant sunshine play a key role. Chief, I think, among these is that feed-in tariff, which Germany definitely believes in and which energy companies in the U.S. don't. The feed-in tariff just makes your home rooftop solar electricity generation profitable. In other words, if you make more electricity than you use, you ought to get paid for it, just like Southern California Edison does. Germany believes in this incentive to install rooftop instead of giant solar arrays. We don't, or at least most of us don't, there are other issues with the big solar arrays, such as the fact that you must transport the electricity to market, and like any other commodity, it costs money to ship electricity hundreds of miles. You lose some of the power you've generated by transporting it a long distance. Rooftop solar makes a lot more sense. In the case of those big solar arrays, they talk about jobs. What jobs, really? Temporary construction jobs while they're tearing up the desert? oh, we're going to have three guys running it full time when it's done. Where are those guys coming from? I find it extremely gratifying that the Riverside County Board of Supervisors, led by our own 4th District Supervisor John Benoit, have seen the wisdom of charging something for the use of our desert. Some say the energy companies will go somewhere else. I say, let them. If there are other places who want to sell out cheap and don't see the value of their own real estate, oh well. But there are those who say, nah, they'll pay up because Riverside County has even more valuable in infrastructure th that makes this a great place to do business. Plus, we're helping these companies meet their renewable energy mandates. Shouldn't we get something for our real estate? Or should we just sit around and lose our assets? More to come. 
Yeah, I think that was pretty good. I screwed, I was having trouble toward the end there, but I guess that one was the best. And, you know, all of a sudden I'm having play, trouble in places where I wasn't having trouble.